And some sad news reaching us this evening. The death has been announced of singer Sinead O'Connor. She was 56. Her debut album, The Lion and the Cobra, was released in 1987. And she found worldwide fame with Nothing Compares to You in 1990, selling millions of copies worldwide. She released 10 studio albums in all. She was outspoken in her social and political views. Our first guest, my friends, is from Glenageary in County Dublin. And she's a woman who's made quite an impression on the rock and roll world. I'm dancing with seven bells. This was how the Irish public first met Sinead O'Connor. Both Late Late Show host and audience were entranced by the young singer with the big eyes and the even bigger voice. But even at that early stage, she spoke of a troubled childhood. Oh, I think... Um Children and adolescents have different ways of reacting to various problems that they may be going through um, for whatever reasons and the way I reacted was to go stealing things in, in order, <clears throat> I think, to get attention. Sinead O'Connor was born in Glenageary in South County Dublin. Her parents separated when she was young and she spoke later in life about abuse she had suffered at the hands of her mother. For a time it seemed as if music would be a pathway to a happier life. Her first album, The Lion and the Cobra, was Grammy nominated and although still a very young woman, she both wrote and produced the material. Then came the song that was to change her life forever. It's been seven hours and fifteen days. A cover of Prince's Nothing Compares to You together with an unforgettable video, made her a household name worldwide. Nothing compares, nothing compares to you. But Sinead O'Connor was never simply one to stand still and sing. On the Saturday Night Live show in the US, she ripped up a picture of the Pope. Fight the real enemy! The action caused some to call for her records to be banned and she was booed shortly afterwards at Madison Square Gardens. Don't let the bastards get you down. And what it was was that I knew what I was on about ripping up the picture and I knew it was connected with child abuse and that's what, this, what people also don't talk about is the song that was sung which the ripping of the picture was an illustration to. Um, which is a song about, it was a Bob Marley song about racism, but I changed it to child abuse. By now regularly written about in the media, O'Connor also used the media herself to put her point of view across, penning a public letter to the Irish Times in which she talked about childhood abuse and said she deserved to be treated with respect. As her recording career continued, so too did her involvement with current affairs and she spoke out on issues including child abuse and the Catholic Church and the X case. The ban decision made by Judge Carcillo is an invasion of the civil rights of all Irish women. Both that in, in London and in Antigua. She also spoke on many occasions about her interest in religion and religious iconography. I um, became a priest because I believe in the church and I don't want the church to die and in 1999 said she had been ordained by the Latin Tridentine Church. My apple tree, my brightness. Sinead O'Connor experimented with a variety of musical styles during her career. She also worked on a number of film soundtracks, including In the Name of the Father, and regularly worked with other musicians. I mean, I had 97,000 hits on my website the other day, it crashed. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, so I got men for everyone in the audience. <laughs> yeah. Always outspoken, in many interviews she came across as intelligent, witty and very engaging, but she continued to experience problems throughout her life with her mental and physical health. In recent years, she posted messages on social media speaking about her difficulties, many of them deeply personal and upsetting. Sinead O'Connor was married four times and had four children, three sons and a daughter. Our yesterday Gorev Anam Delish, and we'll have more on the passing of Sinead O'Connor on the nine o'clock news. But for now, that's the six one news this Wednesday from all the team. Thanks for watching. We're back at the same time tomorrow. Until then, good evening.